y'all just don't know. I still got my butterfly nails, but they will be coming off because I've lost two. Unfortunately, this one, I smashed it. I'm always smashing my fingers, y'all know. So it's cracked under here. So I'm just trying to let it heal up before I soak it off before it doesn't hurt. And this one, I'm not trying to flip y'all off, but it popped off. Um, and I fixed it, but I was in a rush to fix it because I was on the way out, so I didn't do everything properly. And so it did come right back off, which is why when you do your nails, do everything properly. Um, but I'm making this video, I'm running some errands. So I'm gonna take you guys out with me on my lunch break real quick and get some little chit chat in in the rain because it is pouring down rain in Texas. It was hot a couple days ago, now it's cold today. And it's just, if you live in Texas, you understand. So my next venture is getting my lashes together for Beauty by McCall. They will be available on the website soon. And hair we still got it we still got you for all your needs um it is my birthday month that's another reason why i haven't um really been doing anything because i've been going i've been i went to oklahoma and y'all haven't filmed anything i'm terrible i was just so busy actually having fun and living life that i really haven't been filming but um my birthday was last week and we went to oklahoma the weekend before that and then last weekend there was a a festival in my town called the Embry. Those of you guys that are from Gilmer, um, Texas, where I was born and raised for the most, you know, a lot of my life. Um, it's very important that we go to the Embry because everybody comes in from out of town and all that and all that. Um, I did take some videos of the kids, but I ain't got time to be playing around with YouTube and all these different changes for what goes in, you know, what you can do with kids, what you can't do or whatever, but we had a really good time. Um, I am about to order a new poly gel kit, um, probably today, and a new, um, some new nail bits, uh, drill bits because I've been using the ones that came with my nail drill and they're just not what I need. I need a medium grit safety bit um, and I need a good cuticle cleaner um, bit. So I'm on the search for that. Um, I am going to order some Beauty by McColl hair for myself um, and go get my hair done. I'm probably gonna get a sew in. I'm gonna leave off on the wigs for now with some transparency. I want to give you guys some transparency. The reason why I'm slacking up on the wigs, I've been learning how to braid my hair on my own hair um, and I pull too tight in a place and so it's like a little thin, like just like right over here. It's not for me wearing the wigs, not from wearing, you know, glue or anything like that. It's just for me learning how to braid and just pulling too tight. So I'm gonna finally do all my practicing on a mannequin head <laughs> And then um, I'll get back to wearing my wigs and stuff um, and all of that. So, yeah, be careful <laughs> when you're learning how to braid your own hair. Um, what else has been going on? Just getting ready. I've been running sales on Beauty by McCole this month for my birthday. Um, we'll have a Black Friday sale coming up. Um, it will be on Black Friday. And y'all be patient with me, because if you make an order on Black Friday, you know, it's sale day, and you know, it may take a second, um, you know, for your order to come through or whatever, but don't worry, I promise you, I'm gonna get them done as fast as possible. I already have a crew of people that's gonna work with me to help me push those orders out. Um, Cause yeah, it's gonna be some free closures going on. It may be a free bundle going on. So just stay tuned, we got some stuff going. Um, the lashes should be on the site by Black Friday, way before Black Friday, I'm hoping. So um, that there will be some sales going on with lashes as well. Don't worry, I still got hot tools coming. I still got brushes coming. I still got conditioner and shampoo, edge control. Just bear with me, it's a process, you guys, it's a process. Um, and I appreciate you guys from deep down in my soul. You guys don't know how much I appreciate you guys. All the support, all the orders I've gotten so far, all the wigs people are ordering, all the custom dye jobs. I appreciate every single solitary one of you guys, I do. Um, oh, sorry, traffic is terrible. And yes, I look a mess today. 
because it's been raining all day. Literally, since like 3 o'clock in the morning, it's been pouring down raining. My umbrella has disappeared as usual. So, I am on my lunch break trying to take care of this. Go find me an umbrella because I've got some things I need to do when I get off work. Um, I, when I get the nail stuff, the nail drill bit and the nail kit that I'm going to order, I will do a unboxing on that and then I will show you guys um, of me doing my nails. I don't know what my next nails are gonna look like. I have no idea. Um, cause this kit comes with a few different things. It comes with two color changing poly gels, um, and a few other colors. The first set of poly gel nails that I did were, um, the color like apricot, light apricot, 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 however you pronounce it. Um, and this kit comes with a regular apricot and a couple different pinks, but I also have some glitter if you guys watched my last unboxing um if you have it i will get it put up below because i'm probably gonna upload this video um when i get back but i won't have time to put in all the links and stuff so i will get them put up um by the end of the day and then i will link that video either down below or in a card on the screen so you guys can see the unboxing for that um and i will link a video of the that I, I don't know if i recorded my first nails if I didn't record them I will put a dang it I just missed my turn I will put a card or a link um, or a picture actually if I have the video I'll link it if not I will put a picture somewhere around here of those nails because I really really like them even though they were simple they were just like a clearish pink or whatever you know, I still like them. Like I said, poly gel is so easy. I, this kit that I'm ordering is also coming with nail forms, the paper forms. So I think I'm gonna try to practice on some sculpting with some paper forms and let you guys see how that goes and see my learning process on that. I'm nervous about paper forms. I've got so used to these dual forms and how easy they just pop off and everything. So we'll see. Okay, give me two seconds. I gotta go in here real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And you guys, oh, I did buy something new. off Am Y'all know I'm on Amazon, I'm like, constantly. I buy everything from Amazon. And I actually um, received this um, in exchange for a review. I already did the review on Amazon, but it's a wireless charger phone holder for your car for your phone or whatever and it has a usb cord that you can plug up um the chart the holder and it'll wirelessly charge your phone which i don't know why you couldn't just plug it into the car charger or whatever because you have to have some type of car charger adapter so whatever it is what it is but one thing i have noticed is it's holding my phone very steady while I'm driving over all these humps and bumps in the ghetto. And no, I'm not being funny. I am in the ghetto. I, I live in the hood, okay? <laughs> I live in the hood and my office is close to where I live in the hood. Um, but it's always bumps and potholes and 18 wheelers on streets they're not supposed to be on um, and all that good stuff. No, don't get it twisted. I'm not that bougie. Living in the hood is good. It's okay. It's cool. As long as, you know, nobody's stealing my stuff. But, you know, it gets to a point where you're like, okay. I woke up one night <laughs> to two crackheads fighting in the street. So, that was kind of funny. More funny than anything. Um, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I, you know, heard a noise. And my boyfriend was at work. So... I'm checking the house and checking everything. And so I open the door to our room and look outside and there's these two men walking down the street. And I was like, okay, well that wasn't the noise. Then I started paying attention. Like they were walking and yelling. And I was like, what is wrong with these old men? Cause they were pretty old. The one was walking from one end of the street. One was walking from the other end of the street. And next thing I know, bam, punches are being thrown. And I'm just sitting there. So I'm me and my messy self. I sit on the porch and watch the whole thing go down. Baby, let me tell you, those men were fighting in a very old-fashioned way because these, these, 
I don't know if I can stress enough how old these men were. They were pretty old. They were like somebody's great grandpa old. Um, but you can tell they were crackheads just by their movements and the fact that y'all are out walking down the street at two o'clock in the morning and fighting. How does that work? Um, but yeah. And when they got through fighting, they both were like kind of laying on their backs in the road. And finally, they got up and walked their separate ways. And I was like, really? And no, I didn't record it. I know everybody has asked me that. No, I didn't because I tried to. And it was really, really dark. And I couldn't see, you know, through the camera or whatever. And I wasn't trying to get close to two crackheads fighting in the street. Sorry, not going to happen. But if it happens again, I will try my best to have an actual camera versus my phone to record what happened. Um, oh, my hair. This is not Beauty by McCall hair. This is my wig I made a year ago and I bought this hair from Eunice. I did a video on review on that hair too. Hair still rocking, baby. Um, I need a new frontal, but like I said, I had issues with Eunice, not because of the quality of their hair. Um, okay, transparency moment. Eunice used to be my vendor for my hair and I they always sent me the wrong hair I never could get the right hair then when I stopped using them as a vendor and used another vendor which is a whole nother story time because I'm on my third vendor at this point and I'm not even going to go there about that last vendor I had I'm going to leave let that be for another video but my sister ordered some hair from them while she was waiting on me to get my hair they sent her the wrong hair they're supposed to be sending her uh, I think it was curly hair and they sent her deep wave hair they just sent her the hair that she asked for and they also did that for me when i ordered some hair a hair for one of my clients it was supposed to be body wave hair and they sent bone straight hair so now i've got to give a discount um or see you know try to see if she wanted to try to get the right hair but she didn't she just used the straight hair and i made her that hair into a wig and i ended up having to give her a discount because you know it wasn't what she asked for which is Anybody that owns a business knows customer service is best and we don't like giving back money, but sometimes it's warranted. So yeah, so now I am going to take you guys with me in the dollar store if I can figure out how to get you guys out of here. Okay. And when I say I live in the hood, this is the hood dollar store as well. So we're gonna go in here and try to find an umbrella because it's freaking raining on my head and my umbrella keeps me seriously coming up missing. So let's see what we can find out here. Oh, she's over. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you were over there. Thank you. I uh, knew. No. Okay, so 
also we have an umbrella yay now what y'all couldn't see what was going on was there was a guy standing at the cash register thought he was in line and he wasn't he's just standing there talking to the chick and i don't know how much of their conversation you can hear um but they were talking about going to the liquor store across the street because there is a fully stocked liquor store next to this dollar general this dollar general is also right in front of the projects so you know how they do in low-income neighborhoods liquor stores on every corner there is one right here across the street from the dollar general and there is one i can't even say it's a fourth of a mile it's like 2500 feet that way <laughs> there's another liquor store and there is a family this was a dollar general there's a family dollar down the street like basically my town that i live in currently it's not the town that i'm from um but it's where i live because i've been working here for a few years um there are two dollar generals two family dollars a dollar tree in this place called ollie's which is my new favorite place i don't know how this turned into from a catch up with me to a find out all my business about my life which is cool um i mean that's what youtube is for right so uh the town i currently reside in which hopefully i will be moving at the first of the year um is a small ish town um it's not super super small but it's small um there is a lot of low-income families which is good for my job because i deal with low-income families um and then there's a lot of people who wish they were low income and they're not but they act like they are um you know how that goes people want to be from the hood really bad and not really understanding what it's like to be from the hood i'm not from the hood i didn't grow up in the hood i grew up middle class neighborhood middle class area so i'm not from the hood don't plan to be from the hood but i do currently live in the hood i can adapt to where i live most people don't like living in the hood but hey i haven't been shot my car has only been broken into about three times um but i don't keep anything in my car anyway and you can't just say because you live in the hood that your car is gonna get broken into because your car gets broken into really anywhere um but it's cool because we don't have neighbors so we do but they're not super close so we can kind of you know mind our business and stay to ourselves which is what we do um but anyway yeah we were talking about Eunice before I went to the store Eunice has good hair but I don't know what it is like if you're not their brand ambassador or what the deal may be but some they just don't always send out the right hair so I don't yeah, like I said I it has not only happened to me it's not only happened to my sister it's happened to other people that I know um which is part of the reason why I started selling my own hair because it was getting frustrating to order hair from people and deal with people and then you're not even getting the product that you're asking for um and that can get frustrating especially when you're spending hundreds of dollars on what's supposed to be good quality hair that you want so if you're expecting deep wave or deep curly and you get straight or loose wave or you're expecting body wave and you get straight hair you know it kind of dampens your experience especially women we have a look in mind when we buy hair we know how if we want it to be colored we know what color we want it to be we know how we want it to be styled we have the accessories the outfit to go with it we go get our nails done to make sure you know everything is good like women have a vision when it comes to how we look and how we deal with things so as it throws your vision off when you order something and then you get something completely different like and i got sick of that um just like i know plenty of you have ordered from wish <laughs> And how did that go? Yeah. There's some things you can order from Wish and they're perfect. And other things you can order from Wish and you're like, they just gave me the cheap end of the stick on this deal. Um, but that's why I'm trying to build up my, my brand and my website. Because eventually I want to have a fully stocked 
online beauty supply store. I want you to be able to come to my website and get everything you need to make your wigs, dye your wigs, bleach your hair. Um, also being able to buy hair for me, buy lashes, buy lash glue or hair glue, whatever one you use, because I use hair glue. I know that's not the proper thing to use with your lashes, but that's what works for me and my lashes. Because for some reason, lash glue seems to um, break me out and make my eyelashes all gunked up and gunky so yeah but that is my goal to be able to have everything on my website for you to be able to get everything you need for your hair and the way i'm into nails i may need to start looking at nail kits and things to sell to do your nails and things like that um because i have fallen in love with doing my nails you guys and it's funny because even all the money I spent on being able to do my nails myself, I still haven't spent as much money. Like, since I, I started doing my nails in J July, it was 4th of July week when I was on vacation. And I've done my nails two sets of acrylic one dip powder set and one two this is my third poly gel set so what's that three four five so like seven times doing my nails seven times doing my nails and with i've been doing designs and rhinestones and things like that so we're gonna say that's 60 70 dollars um a pop and everything that I've bought still doesn't equal out to me going to the nail shop and getting seven full sets of nails. I've always been obsessed with doing my nails. I used to buy the little Kiss acrylic kit long, long, long time ago when I was in high school. And I would do my nails and my mom's nails. And looking back on it, that acrylic was terrible at first. I've heard they stepped their game up, though. So if I get better with my acrylic, I may actually start testing out some acrylic kits. I just hate the smell of the monomer. Um... That's why I like poly gel and dip powder because there's no smell to anything um, that's involved with it except for the um, rhinestone glue I use for my rhin... Y'all, my rhinestones are still there. Like, I did these nails almost three weeks ago and my rhinestones are still there. Like, that's crazy. Even on this ugly one that I used them to try to cover up where I messed up, they're still there. So... The combination I got from Long Hair Pretty Nails, she uses um, Poochie's Nails Bling Gel. And I know it was out of stock at one point in time. I don't know if it's back in stock. But I bought some from Model Ones. And basically, it's a clear builder gel. And then I went over the builder gel with top coat. And before I cured it, I placed my stones. And actually, these stones on this nail are still there, too. So, yeah, that's three weeks, and that's been me doing my hair, doing my daughter's hair. I've made a wig. Um, I've fixed some wigs for some people. Um, I've, I've been dyeing hair, bleaching hair, working, dealing with the kids at work and stuff, and helping get everything done, and my rhinestones are still there. With I've washed my hair. I've washed my daughter's hair. I've cleaned up everything and everything, and these rhinestones are still put. So, secret hack to keeping your bling on. Builder nail, builder gel slash nail glue or I mean rhinestone glue or rhinestone gel, whatever you want to call it. Top coat over it, place the stones, then cure, and it's perfect. Like, and there's no like any kind of gel or anything on the rhinestones themselves. And even with like with the poly gel, like minimal lifting on the ones that I did correctly, like this one is still pretty good. And they're still, even with them growing out, they're still on. And this one has lifting, but that's cause I messed that up right there. So it's lifting, but still, it's still like, like this one, you can see like it's grown out right there, but it's still there. Like even with this one, it's grown out a little bit. You can see the stuff kind of sticking up, but they're still there. like. It's crazy, guys. Like, this one's growing out, too, and they're still on there. So, poly gel is bomb, guys. Like, 
if you don't like the smell of monomer and all of that and you're learning how to do your nails poly gel is it i promise you poly gel is it okay guys so i'm gonna get better my birthday is over technically but i take birthday presents all the way to the 31st so um i'm gonna go ahead and go in and get back to some work and try to get this video posted for you guys and then when i get home later on i'll go back and update the links and things like that but i just want to let you guys know i'm still here i just have been busy oh my gosh busy 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 and enjoying life because sometimes you got to step back and enjoy life before it passes you by so i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one